and welcome back to Femboy Fishing episode 12. So uh, since this episode and the last episode, uh, I kind of made a decision. Um, since I'm not really able to catch all that much on rod and reel right now, I decided maybe we should do a micro fishing episode. Right now we're much farther upstream from where I filmed episode 5 at. And uh, this is where a lot of the bass and the minnows come up to spawn, which I know they're not really spawning right now, but uh, they are definitely here. I've seen a bunch of them around and I figured why not try and catch some of them for an episode. So I'm just going to be using my net and uh, I didn't bring a fishing pole with me. So whatever we catch, it's going to have to be with a net. Hopefully we'll get something good, guys. So I brought my little critter keeper with me and uh, I figure what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to flip up rocks, maybe in that current area down over there. And uh, underneath these rocks is where a lot of the fish are hiding right now in the winter. So all you really have to do is basically just kind of stick your net under the rock and then scoop it up. And uh, sometimes you'll catch several fish at once. So we may just have to focus on one fish if we catch a whole bunch or something like that. Also, I brought Rester with me again. Hi, sir. Say hi. I think we're gonna start over here. Uh, my thinking is, is that if I put my net against the current, then if I flip up a rock, the fish will kind of be dragged into my net from the current. So I'm going to try doing that. Oh, oh, sweet. I got a fish. He's a big one too. Holy crap. I didn't expect one that big. He's a little stone roller. He's actually a pretty decent sized stone roller. I don't know exactly which kind of stone roller he is, but I can tell he is a stone roller by his shape. I've been going micro fishing a lot recently because of the winter, and I've caught a lot of these little stone rollers, but this is the biggest one I've caught so far. I mean, for comparison, here's my finger, which I have pretty big hands, but he's pretty big. I'm gonna take him out to show you guys up close, and then I'm gonna let him go. Look at that. I love the little patterns. You can see the little blotches on his lateral line there. Almost reminiscent of a largemouth bass, I suppose, but they're very faded. Such a beautiful fish. I love them. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. I'll see you later. I'm pretty enthusiastic about catching that fish. I mean, that guy was almost big enough to take even some of my smaller lures, but I think I kind of proved my strategy correct. There's lots of big flat bedrock stones out in that current right there. And if you can get your net right under them in time, you're able to catch some of these guys that are hiding. I'm gonna keep focusing on where I just was and see if maybe I can catch something different. Russer, stop chewing on sticks. Stop. So, I'm not finding any under any of these stones. Uh, I don't know if maybe we got lucky under that one. Although, now that I think about it, I've been kind of focusing right on that little current right there. They're probably not under those ones, or at least as much, just because it's like right on the current. So, I think I'm gonna aim over here a little bit. There's another little current thing over here, but there's this little back pool, it's deeper. Let me see if maybe there's something under there we can try to find, I don't know. I'm starting to think that we may have gotten lucky with that stone roller because I flipped up most of these rocks in here and uh, I'm just not seeing anything. I'm going to walk over here. I think there's this little shallow pool. We're going to try something a bit different. I'm going to flip up some of these rocks like in there. I bet there's probably something in here. Nothing. There's probably something in there too. I'm not doing that. Oh, that's a, that's a whole nother thing to catch. Uh, that isn't even a fish, that's a tadpole. Oh, there's two of them. Hey, we accept frogs on this channel. We accept all, 
wildlife that inhabits these creeks. Let's go check them out. So I caught two little tadpoles. This is definitely the first non-fish we've ever caught to the channel. I'm not exactly that experienced with frogs, uh, like I am with fish. So I can't accurately tell you guys what kind of tadpoles these are. I'm guessing that they're leopard frogs, because we have a lot of leopard frogs around this creek that I've seen. Um, but they could be bullfrogs, they could be all sorts of tadpoles. If any of you guys are more uh, knowledgeable about amphibians than I am, uh, maybe leave a comment or tell me what you think these guys are. I and mean, they are cool so much different kinds of beautiful wildlife that you can find just within a small little stream, even in the middle of the winter time. I'm gonna go ahead and let these guys go and we'll try to get another thing that's pretty cool. Thanks for letting me catch you, little frogs. Hope you guys have amazing lives. See y'all later. Hey, Rester. So one of the things that I do wanna try to catch today if I can is a crayfish. Which crayfishes are everywhere, although surprisingly, I haven't seen too many this winter. I don't think crayfish have ever struck me as being all that cold intolerant, but I just haven't seen very many of them. I just think it'd be cool to catch a crayfish if I possibly can. So I came across this little smaller side stream from the rest of the stream, and I figured this might be a better place for me to catch stuff since I'm seeing little fishes swim in and about through this area. Interestingly enough, this stream kind of flows into nothing which I think has kind of created a pocket where the fish are having a hard time escaping. Because if you look, the stream ends. It's kind of bizarre, actually, of all this water that flows through and then it goes straight underground. Although this whole area is on kind of thin gravel, so all this water passes through the cracks and flows back into the creek at a later point. I'm going to try to catch a fish through here since I think there's lots of them that are getting trapped in this little pocket and I think it probably be a good place. Got it anyway. Oh, there was a decent sized fish swimming at my feet. Oh, there we go. I got a fish. He's a little shiny. Check him out. He's a little common shiny. I like these little guys. Despite their pretty simple appearance and despite the fact that they are pretty common, hence their name, I still love them. He's cool. I love them. Just so that he won't be trapped in this little stream anymore. I'm going to put him in the main current. All right, little buddy. We'll see you later. So I came down to this deeper pool, uh, just a bit downstream from where we just were. And uh, I've been seeing little rainbow darlings in here, which is what we caught last episode. Let me see if I can get one. Oh, look at him. He's absolutely beautiful. I was just flipping up some of the rocks on the other side, not thinking I was going to get anything just over on that other side of that pool, but this guy was under there. But you can kind of see he has some orange on him. You can kind of see a little hint of uh, the orange on his tail there a little bit too. Now these guys can get a lot more colorful. One of these days I'll catch you guys one that has full color because these guys usually are just covered in orange and blue. Here he is from the top. You can kind of see that stripe pattern on him. Such a beautiful fish. I love these guys so much. Anyway. All right, thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. I'll see you later. I think we're gonna go ahead and catch one or two more fish and then call the episode. We caught about the same amount of fish as we would in a regular episode, even considering that they were micro, but I think it's worth it. What do you think, Russell? Two more fish? Something like that. Also, by the way, guys, I need to apologize for any awkward camera angles. I'm using a little tripod, and I just have it kind of propped up on various rocks and things. And it's not a very nice tripod, so just bear with me on the weird camera angles. Whoa! That was a big minnow that just swam past me. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. Guys, I got a bit of a I got a bit of a cluster here. We cut a crayfish, a rainbow darter, a stone roller, and a shiner all in one catch. Okay. We finally got a little crayfish. I guess there was a couple of them around. We got another beautiful rainbow darter. And looks like we have a little dust stripe shiner and we have a stone roller. We have a dust stripe shiner here. We have another stone roller, it looks like, back there. I don't think we've caught one of these little dust stripe shiners yet. I believe that's what they're called. And then there's the stone roller. We've already caught one of those today. And one thing we didn't catch is this little crayfish. I think he's a rusty crayfish. I'm not completely sure though. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, I'll show you guys the crayfish first since that's something that's a bit different. Uh, maybe I'll take out the dust stripe shiner and we'll just release the darter and uh, release the stone roller on their own without picking them up. We've kind of already caught those two today. So I kind of want to focus on the fish that I haven't really showed you guys in detail yet. So let's take a look at them. See, we have the little rusty crayfish. At least I believe that's what he is. There's like a hundred different crayfish species that are in my state. Yeah, he's a little shy. He's not moving too, too much. I kind of don't blame him though. These are kind of my go-to catch when I can't catch any fish. Because usually in small creeks, if there isn't any fish, there should at least be crayfish. Anyway, I'll go ahead and let this guy go and we'll take a look at the other ones. Thanks for letting me catch you, little crayfish. Let me take you back to your rock. I'll see you later. And then here, we have the little dust stripe shiner. But he's actually the biggest fish in this whole tank. I'll try to get him out. These guys can be pretty jumpy, so I'll try to be careful to make sure he doesn't jump too much. Look at him. That is such a beautiful fish. You want to see him, Russer? Just don't eat him, please. Russer! You like the fish? Yeah. It's a little dust, dust stripe shiner. Oh, you're licking my hand. Anyway, we'll go ahead and let these guys go. Don't try to drink from it. We'll go ahead and let these guys go. And uh, I guess I'll call the episode there. Thanks for letting me catch you guys. Take you back out to your home. There we go. All right, guys. I'll see you later. All right. Cool. Thank y'all for watching Sunboy Fishing episode 10. I'm pretty happy with what we caught today. I mean, we caught tons of species of fish and other sorts of things. In fact, I think we've probably caught more different species of wildlife than I think we have in any other episode. So I wanted to let you guys know this will probably be one of the last episodes of season one. I don't know if there'll be an episode 13. Um, chances are the next episode will be the season finale. But right now, uh, there'll probably be a bit of a pause at least until the season finale. Also, one other thing I want to let you guys know, I am working on some merch right now. Uh, I'm making my own custom spoon lure. They'll be painted in a variety of different colors. Also, I'm probably going to get some t-shirts and hoodies and things to go along with that. So, but hopefully within the next month, two months or so, I'll start rolling that out for you guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.